Just tell me you weren't sleepy. I can't just tell you a story. Well, I, I can if you want me to. <laughs> I'll try my best with the storytelling. I'm not that good with storytelling, so I can try my best. Actually, instead of that, I could just tell you things about me. Mm. You know, melatonin. I really love you, you know. And I can tell you something. Back when I was in high school, I wasn't very popular for my looks or the way I acted. But because I was good at playing volleyball, that was the only thing people admired about me. And it kinda hurt my feelings. I would always get called a monster. Monster this, monster that. Everywhere I went, all I would hear was monster. Then I was even thinking about gulping down an entire bottle of melatonin. If I could tell the truth, melatonin is what calms me down. It's just something about the medicine that puts me to sleep. And it also calms me down. Can't say it's like a narcotic, but at the same time it could be. I really... I really love you, Melatonin. That's why I call you that, because I really love Melatonin. And I don't need a bottle of Melatonin because... Well, you are my melatonin. <laughs> and honestly, I really hope that we can have a better future together. Without anyone saying things bad about me or me. Without anyone judging how we look, how we feel, how we even act. It's hard blending in with other people. Especially by your looks and the way you act, your personality. Of course, people would think that that's a major thing, but I really don't see the point. Of course, people aren't going to look the way you would like. And that's okay. And here's some inspiration for you since you think that. You are one of the most precious, most smartest, most beautifulest people I've ever met. And don't bring yourself down because of what others think of you. Don't think of, I don't look great, I don't feel great, people don't like me. I go through the same thing, you know. But that's okay. And I'll say this. Don't worry about your body type, how big or small you are, how tall or short you are. Even your weight doesn't matter. It's what's on the inside that counts, right? <laughs> Isn't that the thing that, you know, matters mostly? Of course, I had to learn that the hard way. But I mean, you are the one who stopped my suicide, you know? You stopped my eternal slumber from happening. And it was all because of what was on the inside. You weren't the one who called me a monster. You never were the one who worried about how I looked, how I acted. But you always worried about what was on the inside of me. And that's what made me happy. <laughs> you know I love you a lot, right? Of course, I'll always be your tendo, Satori. And nobody can take me away from you. Not even the most richest person in the world can take me. The most beautifulest person. I promise no one will ever take me away from you. 
I don't want to miss you anyway, now it's on me. Of course we all have those thoughts, it's natural, okay? So don't be bringing yourself down for that, alright? It's natural for us human beings to think that way. But it's better when you think about it all the time, you know? You can't think about it all the time, okay? Especially not around me. I really love you and I don't want you thinking that way. <laughs> and since I'm with you too, I can't think that way either. <laughs> I promise. I won't think that way around you ever again. Alright? And you have to promise the same thing. Promise. <laughs> you see? Everything's okay when you're with me and when I'm with you. Sure, our best friends can help a lot, but they can't, you know, do the things that we do. What made me like you? Well, like I said before, it was what was on the inside that counted and not the outside. Hmm. <laughs> If you can't tell, people really didn't like me for my looks and how I acted. I was the weirdest of the bunch back when I was in high school, and they really didn't like the way I looked. I looked demented, like some type of psycho ready to kill someone, even if I never had a weapon in my hand. Monster, monster! Ew, get away from me! I even remember confessing to this one person one time. They were so sweet and so kind, but they rejected me, sadly. I'm sorry, but if you're considered the school monster, then I can't date you. It kind of hurt my feelings back then. She worried about school reputation, the way how my reputation was. And... It kind of hurt my feelings. Even the most kindest of people can think like others. The kindest can think like the cruelest. The cruelest can think like the kindest. And apparently I thought that they were the same. So I decided that I wasn't going to go to school one day. Ushijima even called my phone one time and I didn't answer. I stayed in my corner in the corner of my room, on a bunch of blanket and pillows, thinking and contemplating. It took me so long to think about going to school that I ended up not going anyway. And the sad thing is, I saw a big bottle of melatonin pills on my dresser. And I was so close to grabbing them. But I gave myself a few days to think about it. And... When I was walking down the sidewalk one day, just coming back from a coffee shop, there you were. You were so nice and kind, and you even admired my looks. It was so unusual, it caught me off guard. I never knew that someone like you would even like someone like me, a horrible creature that thinks that people would kill them. A horrible creature that would really end up killing someone just because they are a monster or considered one. But you looked on the inside. You were the one who helped me. You even offered me a drink at the coffee shop and I agreed to go. And boy, wasn't that one of the best days of my life. The days when I was contemplating your suicide turned into a day of hope, of happiness. I was so happy that day, and then we ended up hanging out a lot. Eventually, we figured out that we went to the same high school together, and I even started hanging out with you more. I even came to your house every Sunday to hang out. And that's what made me so happy. You looked on the inside. And 
one time at one day I confessed to you and you agreed. You said yes that day. Of course I'll date you. Nah, I won't go ahead of myself with saying that we're getting married. Because it's possible that, you know, we could separate. But I don't think about that. What made me happy the most was you really cared about me on the inside. <laughs> Not the outside of me. That's what made me so happy that day. Because you cared so much about me on the inside. And not the looks on the outside. Not my school reputation. And not my personality. Even if I acted weird and goofy, you still loved it. You laughed at me every time I got clumsy. You laughed at me every time I ended up spilling coffee. And that's what made me happy. Even if I spilled coffee on myself, you would help me clean it up. Unlike other people. You didn't think like others. But you were kind. And at the beginning, I suspected they're gonna reject me, just like the last person did. But you didn't. You cared so much about me. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> I really love you for it. And I really appreciate you. I love you, my melatonin. <laughs> You've gotten sleepy now? Well, good thing you did. <laughs> Let's go on to bed. I'm glad this helped you. I love you, melatonin. <laughs> Let's go to sleep now. <laughs>